of hours that put us in contact. And I had collected my poetry and my writing, and I was on a path of trying to self-publish. And so I was doing some research, and I happened to speak with someone, and she said, oh, you know, I know someone that could possibly help you. That was in August. I called Karen, we met, and here it is December, and the book is in hand. So thank you very much for helping me realize. <laughs> I guess a lot of people wonder how this came about. Um, as I stated, I, I've been writing since I was younger, and and growing up in, you know, the inner city here, surrounded by a lot of struggle, um, I grew up around abuse and addiction, and I witnessed things that, you know, brought me to this day. And those were the things that I internalized. And instead of expressing them verbally, I expressed them on paper. And as Karen stated, when I first started writing, some of my writings I thought were about other individuals. I would hear stories, and I would hear, speak with people, and I would just write. And I thought it was their story. And as I began to write, read over my writings, I came to realize that it was my story. You know, it's, it's something when you grow up around an environment where you see struggle, and you have this determination to be better, to want better, and to do better. And so with me, I've always wanted that. I wanted better. I wanted to see something different. But the more I moved forward, the more I found myself in the same spot. And I did not understand why. I didn't understand what that was. I was able to see where I wanted to be, where I wanted to go, the things I wanted to do. But for some reason, I was unable to obtain it. And I didn't know what that was. And so I started my journey. And my journey consisted of going back over everything that I had written since I was younger. And you know, it's funny, but God prepares you for something that you don't always know what he's preparing you for. But when I went over my writings, I found out that that was my story. And it helped me to unmangle some of the pieces and put things together together and come to a better understanding of myself. And through that I was able to realize that I was carrying things that weren't mine. There were things that I had experienced in childhood that was, you know, um, spilled over into my adulthood and those were things that kind of kept me bound, if you would say. But I share my story because it's not just my story. I share my story because it's other people's story. And those stories that I heard were other people's story, but it was also my story. And my hope for this book and my reason for putting this book together is that I can inspire and prayerfully encourage individuals that have gone through the things that I have gone through and that are experiencing those things and trying to find out what is it that's keeping them bound and what is it that's keeping them blocked and what's what's keeping them from progressing. And so, as I stated, I hope my prayer for this book is to, to hopefully reach someone else. But I thank all of you for your support. I thank you for coming out. You know, you may be thinking, a Monday night, oh my gosh, what was she thinking? A Monday night, everybody has to work. But when Karen, when I sat down with Karen, Barbara, her assistant, was there at the time, and we were talking, and she said, you know what, enough of this. We need to know a date. Just pick a date. <laughs> what date do you want where you want your book in hand? And the first thing that came to mind was December 17th. And December 17th came to mind because it's a very special day to me. It is my cousin Keisha's birthday. And although she's not here with us physically, I know she's here in spirit. And this was my way of showing honor to her. So tonight, 
I say happy birthday, Keisha. And with this, I honor you. Thank you.